How did I get 50 billion damage in anime dimensions? For your information, this is all I'm using. I have three mythical cards that look like this, this, and this, so they're all basically perfect. I am using the Cosmic Wolfman pet or the Divine Garu pet. At level 50 with these substats, I don't really need critical chance because you already have a lot of critical chance, especially with the pets here. And this is the maneuver gear I'm using. Yes, the attack and cooldown reduction is not the highest, and I don't have critical chance because I don't really need it, but it's still got the four main stats that I do need. And before you say anything, I don't actually have an Astolfo booster right now, because when I tested it twice, I actually got less damage than when I had it without the Astolfo boost. But either way, how am I getting so much damage? As you can see on my level, I'm not even that high of a level. For most people, um, they, they relate your damage to your level, and that is not true at all. I'm so much under-leveled compared to these guys, but I still have the world record in damage as of now. So I'm going to go through about basically everything that affects your damage in a raid, so you can actually get more damage in the raid. There are a ton of things that actually affect your damage. Cards, accessories, pets, characters, stat bonuses, the upgrades you have, the traits you have, and the subsets you have. And while you're in a raid, you can also benefit by having the character bonuses that gives you like 50 or 100% more damage, as well as being in a full lobby with 8 players and having an Astolfo buffer. The important thing to do is instantly, as soon as possible, try to get to the max dimension, get to level 131 or whatever it is going to be max dimension later, and be able to just be able to get the max level card. Right now that is level 131. You don't have to get them right now, but be able to get them. Then you want to get 3 mythical cards with as good subsets as possible. The subs that you want on cards, accessories, pets, whatever, is basically these five. If you can't get five, for example, on pets, it depends on what you actually have. Endgame is actually not critical chance. But either way, the worst subset out of the five is going to be a cis cooldown reduction for most people. So if you are, if you do have a card with a cis cooldown reduction, don't value it as much as you would with like attack. But these four are really important. Well, the fifth one is also really good. You do want to get a maneuver gear with as good substance as possible, and also the cosmic garo pet. However, this pet is really hard to get, and you actually need five mythical pets before you get that one. So, what mythical pets should you get? Uh, you should actually try to get. Where is it? It's in the raid capsule one. The Kurumi pet. There is a 50-50 to get Aqua and Kurumi, Aqua being the worst mythic pet in the game, while Kurumi being the best mythic pet in the game. Having Kurumi or Cosmic Garu actually changes how good a character is going to be. So if you don't have those two characters, some specific characters might be worse than what they should be, or vice versa. Some characters are going to be worse with the pets relative to other characters. So keep that in mind when I tell you what characters you should get. If you're watching right now, you can actually get the raid characters for 23 days still. Everyone except for which Mega Man. I'm going to make a video on who you should get. Um, as a main, as an assist, just in general, who you should try to get, so you can watch that one in like a day or two. However, you need to know what characters you should buy and for what use. If a character is a good main, if a character is a good assist, or whatever. I can tell you right away, Dio is going to be the first character you want to get, because he is good with and without a good pet. Then you also want to have good assists. Currently, the best two assists in the game are Cosmic Wolfram or Cosmic Garo of the Awakening and Kirito Awakening. 
thing is I'm using Tatsumaki as well because of uh, another thing that in raids you actually have a character boost. If there is one, try to use that character to get more damage if you just want more damage, if that is your primary goal. And don't forget to actually play in a full raid, it does not hurt you at all. If you just want rewards, if you just want damage, play in a full raid, it just gives you free damage. The most difficult way to get more damage is the stat bonus and collection. These you can do quite quickly. But the collection, the stat po uh, the stat points, you need 250,000 to get the best, the last one that actually gives you more damage. And you want that one. You really want that one because it actually gives you a lot more damage just in general. Then don't forget the traits, the partner on assist, celestial on the main. And that's basically everything you have to do to get max damage as possible. The one thing that people mistake to get more damage they focus on one of these things and after they get one of them they say oh i only got like 10 percent more damage why am i not good enough even though i have the best of this even though i have the best character i'm not getting near 50 billion damage that's because you have to do all of these things if you have trash of everything but really good cards you're not gonna get so much damage if you have no cards but good of the other things, you're not gonna get anything. So try to get everything of these. Arts, really important. You have three of them as well. Pets, really important. Accessory, really important. Characters, this is what most people prioritize, but you don't actually have to. Sure, the character is gonna be really good, might become might be twice as good as the other character you're using, but it's not that big of a difference you shouldn't like buy five characters and have legendary cards if you have a good character if you have one good main character maybe try to get a few good cards and then an accessory and then get the assists the assists don't actually affect it too much but basically what i'm trying to say is that you have to focus on all of these things you can't focus on one thing and one thing i see a lot of people doing is to get one good character, two good characters, ask another time, who should I get? Get another bad character just because you wanted to get another character. It makes no sense. Try to get a balance of everything you need. Cards, accessories, pets, characters, and just buying costumes and other gem characters to get the stat points, doing dimensions to get the upgrades, everything. But with that being said, here is a clip of me getting 50 billion damage. Subscribe if you haven't.
that's basically it. I hope you can use some of these tips or whatever, basically just explaining what you can do to get more damage to further improve your raid damage and get more rewards, especially now since there is a two times raid token event, utilize it as much as possible. So I hope you enjoyed this video, subscribe and see you in the next one.